what happens when you have an idea and you apply for a patent is you send everything off and the patent examiner has a little look and they look through the patent library and they say, this looks similar, this could be the same and they send you everything they think is similar and you have to explain why your idea is new and unique and different. I think a lot of people don't realise this, but if you have an idea and you're not sure if it's new or unique, you can search on the patent library. You can put in key terms or ideas or whatever and you can see what comes back. So that's always good as a first stage. But once you've written that patent, you've got the abstract and the diagrams and things. Why is it with insects? Just seen a spider, now I've got wasps. Honestly, the outside in my workshop is not acceptable. If you have an idea and you want to protect it, if you want to get a patent on your invention, you cannot put it out in the public domain, okay? You have to have it patented before it goes out. And I was so lucky because when I was at school, I got the right advice and I started my pattern and I had a patent pending when I went in to Young Engineer for Britain to the Engineering Awards, I already had my patent submitted. And so many people make the mistake of not protecting their idea and then going on the news or Dragon's Den or somewhere else. Once it's in the public domain, you cannot protect it. So a patent examiner will go and they will search the internet and everywhere to see if your idea is new, unique, if it's in the public domain. And if you have done a news article about it, or if you have put a YouTube video out there, if you've talked about it on social media, you cannot patent it. 